glad we have antibiotics. Just like I'm glad I have a gun. But I don't want to ever use it. But if I have to, I will. My daughters hate my smell. put september up there very high as you're making your month's list what do you got <laughs> september may is always a great month it's fine december with the christmas and the hanukkah and the feeling of relief that the year is coming to a close we're gonna put july in the sure category february is my birthday one of the greats <laughs> one of the great months but it's cold you know no matter where you live Unless you're down in Australia where it's summer down there, mate. <laughs> <laughs> That's our show. That's our months in review. Oh top 10 months. Let's do that next <laughs> week. Right. We'll start stealing the Letterman top 10. It's up for grabs. Try copywriting that, Dave. Hello. We got a big show today, ladies and gentlemen. Let me just get our guests acknowledged and respected. Uh, we have music coming later from Sarah Noveller, and <laughs> did I fuck that up already? Just Noveller. Noveller. That's what I said. Just Noveller. No, well, Noveller. you didn't say that. Hey guys, it's Jeremy Renner. You just said He's you just told shit. me the pronunciation of the name. Literally so, in the doc. But it, we... No, I want to put you on blast. You got to Somebody read says like you're clarifying how to say your last name. So how am I supposed to it's know that that's you what you were to. saying about it's whatever? Noveller's going to be playing. <laughs> Jesus Christ. No I want somebody in this organization I want you to who knows how to do their fucking job. <laughs> go in the dock to 1050, you will you. see. I say, listen to me. I see in the dock. <laughs> I see in the dock. Sarah Lipstick listed. Lipstick. Somebody, no, it's Sarah Lipstick. No Valor and, parenthesis. And then she Sarah says, Lipstein. and then I say, oh, I thought it says Lipstick. No, no Valor. So you're clarifying a last name. It's, you're not explaining that she's fucking Prince or whatever. Very clear. It was made very clear. I will not take responsibility. Sarah, I apologize. I know you're in the control room. This is a devastating moment for you and the show. This is a dark day. <laughs> if I want a clarification on my name, my last name, which can be confusing, is it Heidecker? Is it Heidecker? He uh, it's Heidecker. Uh, That's what I would say. And people go, ladies and gentlemen, I'm up next is Heidecker. No, that would never happen. Not in a real... Not in a real, not with a real production, not with worldwide pants or Johnny Carson productions. Carson, Johnny Carson. What's, What's your man? perspective on this? <laughs> Jay Weingarten is here sitting in the Doug chair. How can you replace Doug? You can't. You can't do it. We're not even going to try. <laughs> <laughs> your perspective on this, or do you want to move on? Do you, do you want to respectfully not... Worst uh, intro ever. <laughs> Can I please take from the top? Yeah, from the top. Let's reset. Feel over. Good oh, intro from the perspective of, uh, from the... Uh, and video. Skinner is here <laughs> chiming in with good cheer <laughs> and good energy, laughter. 
You love it. I you do. Love, you I love, love Office it. Hours. Started out as a fan, uh, but you're an artist in your own right, a great artist. <laughs> and you are going to be <laughs> painting for us throughout the day and talking and hanging out and having observations <laughs> and <laughs> calling <laughs> bullshit when you see it, I hope. And yeah, I do see it. Here, I see it already. Mrs. <laughs> What am I hearing? <laughs> that, that one was on me. Lord. <laughs> Strike two on Captain Carlin today. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Burger, Victor Burger, Hello. Mr. Sunglasses, two <laughs> weeks in a row. Sunshine. Mr. Hello, Sunglasses. Everybody. And his dirty old cowboy yeah, my hat. It's getting I've really effed up. Yeah. Like, I shat on it the other day. <laughs> so you can see the front's all curved up. What is with the sunglasses? Don't you have regular glasses? I, it's very bright in here. It is not. And I just I just prefer to be a little, like, I don't know. It's like a, a Keith Richards kind of thing, you know? <laughs> we don't ask him why he has this. <laughs> oh, fucking with him. Why not? You know, if you can't see, you don't have to see it. But, ah. Uh... Of course, your Zooms, your hotline calls, that's a big part of the show. I heard, a, I saw a, uh, a YouTube comment. Sometimes I look at the YouTube comments. Big mistake, right? <laughs> big mistake. And this was, I don't know, it might have been the Tenacious D episode, I don't know. But this guy goes, every time they go to the calls, I go, why? <laughs> this, is the, this is the worst part of the show. I go, this is, that is the show. <laughs> that's the core. <laughs> Of course we have celebrities and musicians and great, great artists, but it is a community. Get on board. <laughs> okay? And this guy goes, I hope they were, I thought they were going to lose that. No, it's the, no, I like to, that's why I did this show to begin with, is to connect and, and meet people and, and find out about the world out there. Come on, man. Friendly person who just wants to laugh and have fun. That's what I am. <laughs> I like people. <laughs> Uh, guys, how's our musical guest? Has she stormed off out of oh, uh, no. just? Uh, I'm excited about this. Wes? No Valor. Forgiveness? She gone? Oh, <laughs> Forgiveness. She forgave us. She forgave and by the way, our not very often seen, but much loved and much respected, uh, hardworking, uh, very talented person, Luke. I don't even know Luke's last name. What am I doing in my life? <laughs> Luke Burba. Luke Burba. Burba. Sorry. I, you know, I got a million, I got a million thing Burba, of course. How am I going to forget that Burba? We just call him Burba. <laughs> Luke Burba's birthday today. It's a Burba birthday in the control room. And there are balloons. You can imagine balloons galore. And much, Matt's, of course, gotten the cake coming and flowers. So let's wish. Happy birthday to Lou Burba. <laughs> Burba. Happy birthday, Lou. To you. How the hell did they come up with Burba, right? Burba. <laughs> come on, Luke. Time to change your last come name. On. Let me suggest one for you, Luke. Luke Strange. That's a cool name. Yeah. You could do your uh, Luke Skywalker impression. There you go. Oh, yeah. You got one? Uh, well, I've heard you do some Darth. Oh, I am your father. I am your father. <laughs> <laughs> oh. By the way, this Star Wars, they keep coming out with new Star Wars and or, and or what? Why? And or what, I say. Right? <laughs> Enough. Oh. Is that from and, and Yeah. Friend of mine, uh, you can imagine who it's up Goes, uh, you know, oh, with this Star Wars with the, every, it's always, it's always some rebellion going on. There's always some kind of, some kind of freedom fighters in the desert. General Glongda. <laughs> yeah, everybody's got to new meet all these new people all of a sudden. Oh yeah, yeah, okay. I was, oh, I care about these people I've never heard about before. <laughs> Fucking Andor. Get out of here. You think I'm watching that shit? Wrong. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> oh, you're a big I fan. Like it. Huh? I, yeah. You like I, a Disney? I, I, you got your Disney Plus? It all has, lined up for the new Star Wars like, and or and or what? Vic? Yeah. Uh, and, 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 or, or, and, or, 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 <laughs> and, or the Elvis movie. That's a, ah, uh, yes, the big, I, I, uh, hmm. big Elvis movie review coming and a, a debate. I got thoughts on it. Okay. You know? I also didn't finish it, but. Oh, well that's. Because, because, because. Because. I, I tried it twice and I just, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I got half an hour in each time. I watched it twice all the way through. <laughs> yeah. Well, I started it like. 
like last night, I'm like, oh, let's let's like, You're let's high. give it a second. No, I wasn't, but I did it a second time. I was like, oh, it's it's two hours long, and yeah. then it's like. I can't get to watch until like nine. Right. But also, I look closer. It's two hours forty minutes. <laughs> yeah, it's an epic. Why? It's an. E- like, well, I thought he lived a full life. I guess. Yes. Vic. You're well, not, we'll talk about it later. But I, I got my issues with it. Sure. I mean, it, does it have issues? Of course. Here's my thing. Well, let's just get over it. Let's All just right, get it over with well. now. Yeah. I mean, I liked it, and I think what I liked about it is this is like the last, maybe oh, forty okay. fifty minutes. Once the once the the noose tightens and Elvis is trapped in Vegas and he can't get out, oh. I can't get out. Like he's literally singing uh-huh. the "I love you too much, baby." He's just like, I'm trapped. I don't know what to do. I start taking pills. You get Doctor Nick coming in, and his manager's just like, "Sorry, we've got a deal. We've got to, uh, on our deal. Sorry, Elvis. This is the way it is going to be. And if you fire me." You owe me eight million dollars, and you'll be broke. And it's just like fuck. So, so what I say is, yes, it's insane. Don't you think the main guy did a great job? Yeah, uh, yeah he's great. But every time I'm looking at it, I'm like, oh, that's Forrest Gump, and that's well, like, that whole thing. Every time I everybody's hear everybody's anti Tom Hanks. I, I, I'm like, I like Tom Cruise. I like yeah, Tom Hanks. I like, yeah. I'll see them in movies. I'm used Tom to them. Make me feel comfortable. But you don't. But Tom Hanks doesn't need to be in every movie. Yes, he does. <laughs> he does. Well, if it's not him, it's Cruz. They could, well, that's true. <laughs> Take your pick. I know. But I, just, I couldn't. I can't do it. I, and I see him. I look at him. He looked funny with his fat suit on. Yeah, the fat suit's crazy. Yeah, but the dude, <laughs> mean, but, listen, the dude was a clown. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I know so why, what's he going to do? Play him like Mr. Cool Tom Hanks in Big? Get out of here. <laughs> you, ever been to, you ever been to Graceland before? No. Well, it's no. It's interesting. There's a room where he just would shoot televisions. Oh, yeah. Man. yeah and, and it's very fascinating, a, a peek inside the mind mm-hmm. of Elvis. It's, well, he was crazy for sure. I, I couldn't, like the part also where they're like, that boy's that boy's not black. <gasps> oh, and there's like this slowdown, right? Oh you know, yeah, the first you know, twenty like, minutes like, of that movie is, is, that? is insane. Like, yeah, and then and then they're like, Baz Luhrmann is like getting all his like tricks out of the way like right away. All of a sudden, like, like Elvis as a kid looks through a window, yeah. and he sees like a, a musical theater uh, version of um, "Ain't Nothing But a Hound Dog" by right. Mama Cat, Mama yeah. Thornton. Yeah, I don't know. It just it just didn't make. It took me out of it. I think what you so, should do is I would almost suggest this: watch the second half of that movie as soon as uh-huh. they get to Vegas, because it's mm-hmm. it's very. If they, maybe if they did like the the De Niro movie, what was that movie? Uh, the Irishman did that for Tom Hanks' face, <laughs> but just put like you know. I thought it Colonel looked good. I mean, I hear what you're saying about like you can never not see Tom Hanks. Yeah. But I think it actually looked good. Like it looked real. It wasn't like you couldn't see like the makeup lines or anything. Yeah, no, that was just, pretty. Just good. fast forward to the toilet, bro. Yeah, get just, to that. Just get to yeah, yeah, how yeah. the fuck is that the last twenty? Yeah. It's emotional. And then yeah. like I mean, I think what you could do is start like, start uh, when he starts doing movies, mm-hmm. and then you see him like, he does the comeback special, and he's like, Colonel, I want to do. I want to sing a protest song. I gotta say, no, you are going to do a Christmas song, and that is that. That is final. Here comes Santa Claus. Here come... And he's like, no, Colonel. What? Robert F. Kennedy was just killed. We gotta say something about it. That's who. That's the kind of man I am. I don't know if any of this is true or what. I liked it. I watched it twice. <laughs> <laughs> my fucking wife. Well, the reason I watched it twice is my wife put it on, and I go, Ooh, check that out again. And they <laughs> sucked in, just like Elvis did, to the money and the fame and the girls and the adulation, ad, adoration. Right. You see it? Oh, uh, no. Ah, okay. Sorry about that. You know who Elvis is, all right? Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, Presley. Okay. All right. Presley, yes. Yeah. I mean, it's just a, like John earlier was saying, it's just, a, it's just wild, it's colorful, and it's somebody that doesn't really know or care about Elvis very much, I found it very intriguing. <laughs> <laughs> At least he didn't marry like a little kid like the other guys, you know? Well, she was a teenager. Ah, then. shit! <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then I got really fascinated with that late period Elvis in Vegas. Like, there's something really cool about it. That sh- that, that show where he got all fat. Yeah. And the, but the band... <laughs> it's very opulent. It's but, very yeah, interesting. The ba- but there's like 50 people right. in the band. Is it the Unchained mm-hmm. Melody where he's like dripping yeah. sweat and the guy's holding the mic yeah, for him? Yeah, like there's a guy that just holds his <laughs> mic for him. And it puts the cape on him. Puts hit, the the go. best was he had these uh he had the like a scarf, like a towel around his neck, and he would do this thing where he throws the towel into the audience. 
But then he'd have a guy, his yeah, guy, the Charlie mic guy, Hodge. would come and get him a new towel, and he'd have like a whole stack of them ready to go because Elvis would just whip it off again. It's cool uh, uh, stagecraft and showmanship, but he got he got big. <laughs> I mean, he, really did get he got big, big and he but got his voice moist. Was, he got very wet. moist. He got wet. <laughs> He's like a human. Trying to get as big as you, Colonel. <laughs> Just trying to get his big suit. <laughs> he was the drug, uh, the drug helper for Nixon. That's crazy. He was yeah, all jacked full up. Of, yeah, full of, uh, they don't, you know, that's maybe, you know, <laughs> they don't go into the full story. They're uh -huh. trying to, he was trying to get John Lennon kicked out of, of the country and stuff, you know. I don't think the Beatles are good for America. That's Anyways, what was going on you don't want to hear my Elvis impression all day John's long. John's like, I just don't want any wars. Speaking, <laughs> let's do my uh, now patented, much beloved, uh, New office hours, one joke monologue. <laughs> <laughs> so did you see this? Do you see the, uh, the Hello, big... Hello, I'm Johnny Cash. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Anyways, uh, big, big news last week. The Queen passed away. We saw this. The Queen... God bless. Uh, Queen Elizabeth passed away. It, um, in other royal news... Uh, Burger King made a big announcement this week. Burger King said that they were going to be reintroducing the Whopper to America. Tom Curtis, president of Burger King, said, what we really want to do in the short term is reintroduce America's love affair with the Whopper. Uh, he went on to say, uh, we're guaranteeing 25% less vomiting. <laughs> oh! <laughs> yes. <laughs> but no promises on the diarrhea. <laughs> Where's my rim shot? Oh, I want beow, that beow, beow. That's exciting stuff. <laughs> um, <laughs> want to check in on the, the Zoom room? Yes, Zoomy, Zoom me, Matt. Well, we have a very special Zoom guest, Mr. Doug Pound himself. Ah, ba, 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 Doug Pound. I love Doug. Zoomer, are What's you up, there? Guys? Yo, That's a good drop him? from Skinner there. I love Hey, Doug, 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 where are you? At the public library? I'm at the library. Oh, <laughs> keep it down. Doug, that is crazy. Down. No, you I'm can't. in the library. I am. I am in the public library in uh, somewhere in uh, Connecticut, I think. Wow. Did you see that? Look at that. So wholesome. So first of all, say hi to I Jay. To... He's sitting in your chair. What's up, Jay? I've been hey. watching. I haven't heard a peep. I want Jay to be more bold. And you know what? He's looking for his in. I came in hot. There are a lot of problems. He came in hot. <laughs> and I got a lot to say. I got my Does caffeine. Does anybody have some sun protection for your president? Yeah, please. set me up, Tim. <laughs> yeah, he'll he'll ease into it, I'm sure. Oh, he will. Good he'll to warm see up. You're, gonna, you're planning on warming up, right? Doug, yeah, I, I love you, buddy. So, Doug, give us the update from the road. I'm jealous of you. I'm jealous. But maybe not after your update. Well... <laughs> I'm having the time of my life, and uh, I, it's kind of crazy what I'm doing, doing comedy before a rock band. A comedy rock band, these, I should say. Yeah, but I'm basically doing stand-up for, like, you know, these huge amphitheaters. And um, it is like, it, you know, when you do it at a small comedy club, you get the feedback of, like, when people laugh. This is just, like, I, I feel, like, disconnected from the crowd, but... um. I'm starting to figure figure out the the uh, the solution and uh, <laughs> what is the solution? <laughs> well, the first show I would just went hard. I just did my weirdest stuff. Yeah, like for 45 minutes, and the people in the front could hear me and kind of tell what I was doing, and they were all laughing and liked it. But the back half, they were like, you know, booze. And Ooh. for days Ooh. after that, I was getting tweets from the people at that show about oh how much. God. I should quit. Oh, geez. What? I do. what? No. That's not very nice. <laughs> you got to be kidding me. <laughs> Stop. Stop. Yeah. Uh, why couldn't they hear you in the back, though? Play. I mean, they must be able to hear you when the band comes well, out. Well, it was the first show. You know, we sorted out some stuff. I think my mix was weird or something. Uh -huh. But uh, now, now I. Well, you're claiming it's not the material, <laughs> it's the sound that's causing all the booze and the hate. Well, that was a factor. That was a factor. The material, you know, it works. Where I do my, where where people know who I am. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Well, you should be able to win. Any good performer should be able to win over any crowd. You know, that's the that's. Uh, the... <laughs> Dude, that's the pressure know. must be insane though for you. Yeah. I mean, you're just like, what? Well, am you I said doing? in our text thread last night that that you had a great show where in uh, New Hampshire or something. 
in New uh yeah, New Hampshire was the best crowd. And Philly was a great crowd, too. Yeah. But, like, in these venues, it's, like, kind of echoey. And there was some, like, slapback. So it, it is, oh, like, yeah. it's not made for, like, maybe what I'm doing. But Is um, everybody in yet what? by the time what? you what? go on? Or is I'm there having, that issue? Like, what's that? Is, there, is, is everybody in yet by the time you perform? Is that an no, issue? No, well, that's the, other, that's, that's the other thing. It's 8 o'clock on the dot. And a lot of people are, like, half the place isn't in yet. And they're all kind of filtering in. Yeah. So there is, like, a, that roar of, like, like people talking so it, it does kind of make me feel like i'm losing my mind like not um talking you know like when people are i look out there and people are just walking around getting their drinks like a lot yeah. of that's going on but uh, well you knew that going in i mean you knew that was going to be i knew that going climb. in it, i know it's going to be a challenge so i do, um and jack and kyle I mean, are supportive uh, and they're loving it and absolutely those guys, i get to i get to i get to do a solo during their one of their final songs they do, everyone gets a solo and I come out and I Are get to have my own solo. Are you getting booed when you come out then? <laughs> no. No, no, oh no. I, oh, that was only the first show. I, I, I've, uh, I've figured it out that they, you know, like the more musical stuff, the more time, the more I'm like remixing and jamming like beats and stuff like that's what works mm. more. So I would have uh, like I'm a emergency, that, like, I would have an emergency switch, which just starts playing like Dio and Quiet Riot and, <laughs> Blue Oyster Well, cult, I do. Whatever. I start now. I start off by DJing like mashups of like Slayer and oh, um, nice, you know, like heavy metal with like you know like s silly mashup songs, right? And then that kind of then I ease into then I I ease them in exactly. There's that there's that screen there, there but is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then you're driving. You're, you're kind of on the on the. Uh, you're on your own driving around to these places. I, I'm on my. I'm on my own. I. I uh, <laughs> it's a fair question. I'm yeah. on my own. I'm on my own. <laughs> the, Doug, well, you're, you're a one man the band. band. The you're bookmobile doing, takes. <laughs> you're doing great, buddy. You're doing. You're. Yeah. You're awesome. I mean, like, just the thing is, of like being alone out there. You know, just like <laughs> trying really. to talk. Oh, to, it's like, murder. This many people. It, it's a. Uh, it, it is uh, a, quite a challenge, but like Jack and Kyle are like really supportive, and those guys are the coolest. And yeah, it's like quite an experience of a lifetime. Yeah, I'm happy for you. Yeah. Despite <laughs> the trials and tribulations, this is going to make you it's, a stronger. It's fun. Better I like a I like a challenge, and uh, you know, I'm having. It's it's my parents are going to come to the Milwaukee show. Oh, mm. Doug, I didn't think they respected you very much. <laughs> She's going to have a negative spin. What are you playing right now? What? Is there music playing? I don't hear nothing, man. You got nothing going on I here. think you got... Uh... Matt's playing Candy Crush <laughs> back there. <laughs> <laughs> it makes me sick. I hear music. I don't know what's... I don't uh -oh. know what Well, maybe you're losing your mind. <laughs> <laughs> Do okay. Oops. Do you hear yeah, that? I'm back. Sorry about that. Okay. No worries. All right, Doug. Well, let's not make this show that. all about you. <laughs> We've got a big anyway, um, cannot wait to have you back at home. <laughs> we love you. Miss Doug. you guys. And uh when are you back? Next week? Yeah, I think I'll be oh. back there next week. Awesome. Love you, Doug. You're well listen, best. follow Doug on Instagram because yeah. you uh you're you're very active there, uh <laughs> sharing your experiences from, from the road. I see you skateboarding and hanging out backstage yeah. and having a good time. And like I said, I am jealous. Yeah. I gotta get back on the road. Let's go. Let's okay. get back out here. All right, brother. Peace Be and well. love. Peace and love. love Say you. goodbye to Doug Skinner. Goodbye, Bye. Doug. I love you, buddy. You're doing great. Love you. Love you so much. <laughs> Trial, by <laughs> <laughs> Trial by fire, baby. Get out there. Bye-bye. <laughs> And are you going to be doing some painting for us throughout yeah, the show? I'll yeah, I'll paint for you right I, I'll start. Let's get it okay, started. Okay, we're starting. Let's because we started. have to get to the city of the day. I hate the city of the day. What? What's up? Who said I said that. You hate the city of the day? I'm just kidding. He's not kidding. I love the city of the day. Yeah, city of the I day know. is sponsored by, this is an exciting new sponsor, Sherwin-Williams Pants. You already know Sherman Williams brand. Speaking of painting here, this is kind of cool. Because of their <laughs> high quality, low VOC, easy to apply paint. But did you know they sell pants too? And did you know they come in every color and style you can imagine? Stop, 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 stop sign red short pants. They got you covered. Izmir purple paluzos, no problemos. Jasmine yellow jofers, jump for joy because after 12 to 16 hours of drying time, you'll be able to 
Be out on the town in your cool new pants. And every pair of Sherman Williams pants comes with a lifetime stain guarantee. Just bring your soiled pants into any location and the boys in the back will slap a fresh coat on there in perfect color matching. What are you waiting for? Walk into a Sherman Williams today and walk out with brand new pants. Sherwin Williams pants must not be worn near open flames. Do not wear if you suffer from asthma, COPD, or any other respiratory ailments. Helmet with soundproof mouth covering so you can... Go to shermanwilliams.horny. <laughs> is it dot horny? No, it's dot, that says dot com. This is an in person. That's this is, real hard. You go to Sherwin okay. Williams. They have the pants. They have their own the story. brick and mortars. Yeah, any Sherwin Williams. <laughs> All right, what is the city of the day? Who do, who is the city of the day? Who wants to provide us with the city of the day? Mr. Social, are you there? Mr. Social, can you unmute? Hello. I'm here. Hi, Hello. guys. Hello, Mr. Social. One of my biggest fans right uh, here in the background, I should right. say. <laughs> that's right. I got that going just for you. Thanks, buddy. You know it. Uh, so the city of the day, I live in Port Clinton, Ohio. Oh, this might be a new city of the day. Matt, we need a map. I think it is. Mm, you got to start pinning a map. That's start right. pinning a map and, and just cover the great country of ours in <laughs> pins. <laughs> <laughs> Very respect. That's right. What's going on there today in that town of yours? Oh, you know, I'm, uh, well, it's the walleye capital of the world, for uh, one thing. It's our claim to fame. The what? And, uh, the what walleye, walleye capital. Walleye? Yeah, it's a fish. A oh, walleye fish. bass. <clears throat> yes. A lot of bass. Mm -hmm. Right on beautiful Lake Erie. Actually, I'm, good uh, boss, just, you know. <laughs> just doing some carrot cake. Ooh. What are you, in your pajamas? Oh, what is that cake? shirt? It's uh, pineapple with sunglasses. Fun. Mm. Fun. Mm -hmm. You like that? I do. Cool. Do you, does your carrot cake <laughs> have icing on it? Does it have the vanilla icing on it? That's what I want to know. Oh, it's going to be loaded with icing. Hell yes. Are you making oh, that yeah. for yourself? Or you got family? What's? Yeah, I'm going to eat it all myself. <laughs> Just at home by yourself? <laughs> no, what are you, feature man? <laughs> Hello, no, it's for a, uh, for a wedding, actually, this weekend I'm going to. Nice. Yeah. What are these weddings where you got to bring your own with. dessert? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm uh, I'm the brother-in-law of the uh, of the bride, so yes. All, All right. right. Oh, you gotta bring so, Matt, uh, Vic, for to appease you, yeah. I say this. <clears throat> this it sounds like we have an activity of the day is baking. That, oh, baking like carrot that. cake. Very nice. Hello, food fans. Cool. I'm going to show you how to make a carrot cake for three dollars and twenty three wow. cents. Using some root beer and some old carrots I found in the uh, dumpster. So, uh, could I do my activity of the day? This is something yes. Very Thank helpful. you, uh, Mr. Social. <laughs> Thanks, Happy, guys. Uh, Have a good one. All the best this to your brother-in-law. <laughs> <laughs> this is one. This is activity of the day that involves everybody here, and we, everybody can do it at the same time. All you got to do is, you know, I do this every day. I, I look into a mirror, or or I just do it. Not looking in the mirror. I smile for thirty seconds, <laughs> and if, yeah. even if you, <laughs> yeah. it forces you to be happy, because it Forced even be if happy. you're even if you're not even if you're not happy, it forces the dopamine and the endorphins and serotonin, all that stuff. You gotta uh, look at yourself. So the we're whole gonna time? Do, I have a timer. Yeah, thirty. Uh, I have wanna, a mirror. Right you could also like do like put a pen in your like this. Jared, you wanna put the straw in your? Right, I got this beautiful mirror gifted to go. me by uh, Amy Poehler. Would you believe Ooh, wow, that, folks? Wow. Amy Poehler okay. uh, did a little sh uh, right. little independent film uh, earlier this year, and this was my gift. All right, so let's all do 30 seconds of smiling. Okay, ready? 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Congratulations. Now you are happy. <laughs> 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 See? <laughs> okay. Happy. Are you happy now, Jay? Yeah, that's 
that was a bit odd for me. <laughs> that was a what? Stunt. That was experimental. Yeah, that was a little trippy, wasn't it? <laughs> Jay, are you speaking of Burger King? Are you a fast food guy? Do you like to dip into the fast food every once in a while? Oh yeah, you were talking about Burger King. Mm -hmm. um, I, you know, I, I like uh, I like McDonald's. Okay. <clears throat> I don't know if you like McDonald's. I, I know. I don't say no to a McDonald's if it's a uh, if if it's out there for me. Yeah, it, I mean, I, I like it. I, um, one of the things about it is um, I'm just glad that uh, McDonald's doesn't sell hot dogs. Mm. <laughs> like, I would feel so awkward ordering a McWiener. Ah. <laughs> and don't don't even get me started on the super size. Okay? Oh. <laughs> like a phallic symbol much? Yeah, uh, the glizzy. Yes, yeah, so, hello. Can I get a super size McWiener, please? Right. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, that would be hashtag strong. awkward, in my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, sure. I, I'm, I don't know. <laughs> Obviously, McDonald's doesn't sell hot dogs. Um. No. Always curious why that was. Maybe that's, you don't have to call it a wiener naturally. You could just call it a McHot Dog. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> McPenis. <laughs> Any other uh, things that are bugging you these days? Well, I, I guess one of the things about McDonald's, like, okay, yeah, they don't sell hot dogs. They sell, um, what is it, hamburgers and french mm -hmm. fries, right? Hamburgers right. and french fries. And then for dessert, we end up going for um, soft serve ice cream. You right. guys have had that? or mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. Okay. Well, just uh, <laughs> I like ice cream, but half the time it's so freezing cold that I, I, I'm eating it, and I tell the most outrageous lies just in hopes that my pants catch fire ah. in hopes... <laughs> <laughs> that I uh, warm up because I'm so cold <laughs> from the freezing ice cream. Right. Do you like hot fudge sundaes? <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. We're just riffing about the fast food stuff. So. <laughs> we sure are. We uh, sure are. Oh. <laughs> what other, yeah, there's a lot of fast food chains. Oh, you've got um, Wendy's, you've got, uh, what else? Uh, <laughs> Subway. Oh my God. We could Taco go on Bell. and on. Hardy. What's the, you know, you got that. That continental divide in America, where you got, mm. on one end, you got Hardee's. On the other end, you got what? Carl's, Carl's Jr. <laughs> Depends on the geography of, or where you are located. <laughs> yeah. Are the, is the food different? Uh, they sell the same food, just a different name? I don't think it? so. They've got the uh, uh, similar situation going on with Hellman's and Best Foods when you come to oh. Mayonnaise. We don't have Hellman's out here. We got Best Foods. Got the laurels out here? It all depends, really, in the end. Or... Something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to join the conversation next? Any questions, any Blueberries, comments, complaints? Peppers, squash, Let's go to the hotline. Cucumbers. Check in with uh, those folks. 248, you are live on the air. 248, good morning. Area code 248, good are you there? Good afternoon here. Oh, good afternoon. I apologize. Where Hello. are you calling in from? Ann Arbor, Michigan. Nice. We're, we're very, very uh, popular in Michigan today. I can feel this. Oh, baby, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> what's the What's the weather like today? No, 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 no. What up, though? What What can I help you with today? You're on the hotline. You're on the air with Tim Heidecker, Vic Berger, Skinner, and Jay Weingarten. In the land of Wanda. Uh, I have to say, or I have to ask, what are your thoughts on prolonged patents, trademarks, and copyrights? Oh, God. Like, in particular, Disney is uh, taking a big chunk out of it for 95 years as a trademark with Mickey Mouse, you know, and it's supposed to expire next year. However, before that, you know, Alice in Wonderland was made into an animated movie, and it was 86 years old, and they got away with it scotch-free. That's right. what I'm saying? Yes. Scotch free? So Can you say fair? scotch free? I, think I say scotch free. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know about this scotch Scott free. It's a typo. <laughs> yeah, typo alert. <laughs> uh, that's a fair question. Uh, I just think everything uh, should be uh, considered with, uh, with a reasonable uh, attitude. So, yes, there are things, that, there, there are. Uh, there's ownership and copyright that protects artists and and uh, companies put significant amounts of uh, capital into making these things that become so beloved, and there should be some respect and uh, appreciation for that and, and following the, the laws that have been set up to protect that. But at a certain point, 
I feel some things just you know, become part of the public domain through its just ubiquity. So, for yes, example, yeah. I wasn't going to bring this up, but it's a nice transition into, I don't know all the details to this, but uh, our friend Vera Drew's uh, People's Joker, I don't know if you saw this news, mm -hmm. up in uh, Toronto at the Toronto Film Festival, this film that, that Vera made that she was very uh, open and aware was sort of using uh, copyrighted characters from the Batman world and kind of uh, turning it on its head. And uh, I haven't seen the film. I think I'm in the film. Um, but she goes up there, gets accepted into like the weirdo Midnight, Ma Midnight Madness screening up there in Toronto. And it uh, gets pulled by Warner Brothers. They come up there and say, no, 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 we own Joker, we own Batman and everything. And you know, they pull it, and in one end, it's terrific press for her. Oh, it's, best, it's terrific yeah. publicity for the movie. But on the other hand, don't you want to just, like, everybody sit down at the table and be like, can we just chill out about you guys owning Batman and shit? Like, isn't isn't Batman, like, Santa Claus at this point? Yeah. Like, like, can people just have it? Yeah, when did And you guys can still do your shit that everyone's going to see, and you're going to spend millions of... But how is Vera Drew's little, um, mm. you know... Uh, take on Joker and the Batman world really going to affect the, you guys in any way? The lawyers like to like show that they're doing their job. And, well, that you know, could be, Vic. I don't I know. Mean, that's that's unfair. What it is. Well, I want to say that, that like Disney, yes, they, I mean, all of their stories and, and cartoons are based off of like uh, legends and, and myths, right? I mean, sure. Like, uh, mm -hmm. You know, and so, and then, but they're so relentless, like if like Snow White or, or anybody like makes a costume or does an interpretation of these like you know, stories that are just out in the public domain that's even similar to their interpretation of the, the cartoon. They just, like, you know, send the, the, the lawyers out after everything. I know my yeah. wife has Yeah, and then at the, yeah. in the meantime, there's shit that just gets rampantly used without permission and doesn't get... Right. And there isn't right. the... the, the but also, uh, yeah, but the, the they've also, like, they've, like... They know how to like uh, exploit these copyright laws, like 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 he was saying. Like I just want all these yeah. people. We should all sit down at a big table, <laughs> all look at each other in the eye, and say, "Listen, pal, we're all, we got a short time on this earth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, there is magic in art. There is magic in storytelling. It is a it is one of the few ways that people can come together and have fun and agree on things. And 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 it, it ideas are free." Ideas, well, they're not free, but they're, you know, <laughs> they encourage communion. They encourage uh, love and they encourage positive things. We're only here for 90 years at best. Some of these idiots that live to 100, fuck them. They're just sitting there like vegetables. Yeah. A lot of them. George Burns <laughs> being a great uh, counterexample of that. George Burns lived a healthy, healthy life and, and uh, the queen. But you there with the cigars? Most of these dipshits, <laughs> they're going to live to 90 tops. Yes. So you got this period of time on earth. What are you gonna do going just trying to slap everybody with copyright infringements for? Let them have Batman, let them have Joker, let them have Mickey Mouse. I think that the those IPs would be are in better hands with, with like weird creators. artists. I yeah. know, I know. Like I can't wait to see this Joker film. I mean Well, I, all you know. it's all it does is uh raise awareness of the property in general. Right? <clears throat> right? It keeps it in the in the loop. And it's a great what they should do if they really want to be serious about this is buy Vera's movie, and then they can put it out and people can see it. Like, thank you for doing all this work. We didn't have to put in any money. We didn't have to give any of our shitty notes that don't work and don't make sense. Uh, you guys, you did all the hard work. I'll buy it from you. Just like Elvis when he was on Sun Records. Cap, the uh, colonel said, no, no, we, have, we must get uh, you a big recording deal with RCA. Well, I was well, I don't know about that, Colonel. I, Sam Phillips, man, he discovered me. He's like, no, no, Sam Phillips is going to be paid quite well for his uh, his work. You shall see. He will be very happy. And then there, fucking RCA gives his son records a shitload of money, man. Let's just fucking buy that. <laughs> Warner Brothers, you cunts. Listen up, <laughs> you stooges. <laughs> Sitting there, and by the way, they're collapsing. They're in free oh, fall, yeah, these Warner are. Brothers. With all their discoveries and Discovery Plus buying this and that and saying no more shows. We don't want real shows. We want fucking Property Brothers or whoever else is out there. <laughs> Property <laughs> Demo Brothers come second time in a... In a <laughs> dem demoing. Uh, we're we're going to, uh, you know, fucking shows about lizards or whatever. And <laughs> wild, wild world of lizards. 
tonight on HBO. You know, and you're like, what happened to shows? But if we go back to Disney, these I, weirdos I think they, should just chill. What? I don't know if people know this. Well, listen, but, I got no issues with Disney. I think what they're oh, doing is important. What cool. they could do, one thing they could do is start paying their uh, employees who walk around in the outfits and the costumes, give them a little more than minimum wage. I know people that work for Disney and they say it's it's hell. Yeah. People that they're work bad, in, in bad animation. Company. and Well, look at the, the CGI people are like barely paid. Like all these CGI production companies are going out of business because they're making these movies that win all these awards that everybody loves, but... They're not getting paid. It's no. ridiculous. Right? No, it's a disgrace. A well, you know who it. seems Doctor Evil seems quite agitated here in the Zoom map. Uh, it's Walt Disney. Oh, What's yes. the matter with this guy? <laughs> he's, he's he's got a lot to say. Uh, you well, thanks for the call. Now. Thanks two four eight. Bye bye. <sighs> Doctor Evil. Yes, can you hear me? <laughs> yes, sir. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, hello, everybody. I've just got some evil news for everybody. Would you like to hear that? Uh, sure. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, like uh, in evil news, uh, uh, President uh, of Ukraine... Oh, President, Pu uh, President Putin declares war on Ukraine, President. I'm thinking this guy is attacking... Uh, 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 a country with a comedian for a president. Oh, real tough, real tough guy, really evil. Yeah, grow up, Putin. Throw me a fucking bone. What are we doing here now? <laughs> what is this? Zelensky's I, Canadian? I don't get this. I don't. Now I understand no, why he's you want to delete people. <laughs> <laughs> he's from Ukraine. I got to go apologize to that YouTube commenter. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Getting those replies. Yeah. Listen, uh, man, Elon I made a Musk, big mistake. Elon Musk wants to go to Mars. Yeah, I'm thinking the only reason Elon Musk wants to go to Mars is to find someone else named Elon. I mean, throw me a fucking bone. <laughs> yeah, we'll throw you a bone. We'll get one out to you in the mail right now. Uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much, Dr. Evil. Very funny thank stuff. You. you like those Austin <laughs> Powers movies, Jay? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Um, there's, what is Austin Powers, Austin Fat pa Bastard. Oh! <laughs> you remember that? The mini, mini guys. Oh, the mini, mini guys. Mini, mini, mini guys. <laughs> um, there was, actually, no, no joke, there was big, big news today. Did you see the news? Uh, oh. Hugh Hewitt, uh, conservative broadcasting icon Hugh Hewitt, <laughs> uh, announced today, former President Trump told me this morning that Everything he took to Mar-a-Lago was declassified and that he has done nothing wrong in connection with alternative slates of electors and cannot be indicted as a result. <laughs> <laughs> that book is closed, my friends. That is the, that's done the deal. It's like elementary school. Like, go, please go tell the teacher I didn't poison the goldfish in the classroom. <laughs> okay, I'm that's free. That's the deal. <laughs> we are now up to speed on that and the case is closed. <laughs> I love Batman. <laughs> <laughs> totally. okay. I'm glad that's over. Okay, my friends. Uh, let us move the show along. It is time for another call, another Zoomer, another moment of mirth with our Zoom community. Sylvie. Sylvie, friends, how are you today? Unmute, please. You must unmute first, Sylvie. She's trying and she can't. Well, we'll try again later, Sylvia. I'm sorry to say. Florian. Oh, yeah. Hello. They are working on something cool, I believe, right, Florian? Oh, heck yeah. I've been working on rugs for Halloween. I'm a I'm a rug maker. I tough stuff, make small stuff and big stuff. What do you do now? <laughs> I tough rugs. <laughs> Naturally, don't this we all at one point? <laughs> Are you work? Is that what you do for a living? No, it's a side hustle, but hopefully one day. Great. Where are you calling from? I'm in West Philly right now. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Worked in Bethlehem. Shout out to Whoa. Beth. Whoa. Let's check in on Skinner's Beautiful. art. Can we get a link? What do we do? Yeah, can we see <laughs> what, what are we looking at here? Whoa. Hey, it's a skeleton gone wild. Spooky, spooky stuff. Yeah, I. Uh, so I'm going to paint these, and I was thinking maybe I should uh, give them, maybe you guys could give them to some 
Zoomers or something like that. That would be terrific. Yeah, yeah an original so, piece of art from Skinner. I mean, yeah. this is a. I'd take it and put that in the yeah, fucking really. uh, vault and yeah. wait for that to skyrocket. Oh, look yeah. at this! Look at that that rug there. That's oh wow, that looks wow. nice. Very cool. A little rug. Wow. What is, is that? For? It's like a bath mat. It's like a toilet mat. <laughs> is this this is a Bethlehem uh, business? No. Oh, Matt oh Florian, you muted business. yourself. Oh. Yes. Uh, yeah, I just go by my name, Florian Francis. I make rugs for people. I'm going to be doing some Halloween ones. Tim, if you ever want a rug, I'll make you a rug. Thank you so uh, much. I do carpeting, though. <laughs> <laughs> More kind of a wall-to-wall -to -wall guy, are you? Yeah, I get everything wall-to-walled. <laughs> <laughs> the carpet at Graceland's crazy. Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> uh, you know, back to the... Thank you very much, yes, Florian. Thanks for, thanks for checking in. Uh, back to this Burger King news, by the way. Um, I'm fascinated by this because you know, I don't, I, I don't generally jump onto you, the CNN website. Sometimes you know, in general, like it's not like that's not my morning routine, but sometimes I do. And this headline says Burger King has a plan to make you fall in love with the Whopper again. Like, what kind of fucking journalism is this? What is <laughs> that's what is this at. planted, uh, a paid <clears throat> article? It starts out, the past few years have been tough for Burger King. <laughs> I like food. <laughs> Missteps during the pandemic caused the chain to lag behind competitors. Over the past few quarters, Burger King has been playing catch up, and now the company is hoping a major investment in restaurants and advertising will help spark growth and propel it ahead of its peers. They're going to be their plan? What, what do you think? One key part of the plan? <laughs> this is their plan. Ready? Reminding customers of what Burger King is all about, the Whopper. <laughs> <laughs> Reached for comment, Tom Curtis, like I said earlier. Reached what we really want to do, I, I added that. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, should say, uh, it should say, Tom Curtis, president of Burger King North America and author of this article, told <laughs> CNN Business. <laughs> The plan is to make sure workers are well-trained in making the best possible Whopper and that kitchen support consistency and ease of preparation. How are they getting to that now in 2022? <laughs> I don't think, this is, the, this is the best. I don't think we've talked about it enough. I just don't think we've celebrated it enough. <laughs> Curtis, Curtis said, yeah, I'm on the article following. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm looking forward to putting it back in its rightful place as our lead act. A fucking Jesus nut. Christ. Imagine end. going to work every day. You're, Kurt, you're this fucking Tom Curtis, wherever he is. Great American food. Oh, I'm the president of Burger King. Okay. Many, many I like the Impossible Whopper. Yeah. Oh. See, they should be leading with that as the yeah. mm -hmm. it, You know, this is news. It's like, it's like you know you're at the dead end of Western civilization when this is like the shit you're finding out. Did like, you see that story? It, was, uh, it became a, a story because... Uh, some host on that OAN network, that uh, conservative mm -hmm. network, they retweeted it being like, you know, he not all heroes wear capes or something. But the story was some random weirdo who went into some stores and um, destroyed a bunch of impossible meat, the impossible oh, meat that you can buy. <laughs> she went in there with a knife and opened like 15, like she said she made, like, get, like ruined like thousands of dollars worth oh of uh, impossible meat. Yeah, yeah, each one is nine dollars. Yeah, well, they are expensive. Yeah, but, but I'm the your point is, monster. What sir. a lunatic! <laughs> and this was like, yay, that's a great idea. What, what the fuck kind of personal freedom agenda is that coming are from? You still Shouldn't you be able to eat whatever diet. you want? Unfortunately, yeah. yes. Yeah. <laughs> you went and stabbed some food. You're a hero. <laughs> Isn't that wild? Yeah. Oh, it's a mess, folks. It's only going to get worse. <laughs> oh, gee. No, it's gonna be How fun. could it get worse? Oh, you'll yeah. see. Yeah, we're at rock bottom. We're going up. I think we're going up. I'm oh, with you. Jay. See, you, see, you got some added, some uh, some optimism going on. I do. Now, what did you get? Some paint on your glasses? Oh, is there some? Oh, I think that's just sweat. What the oh, fuck? Okay. And some dude heat. Yeah. <laughs> it's not too bad in here. No, it feels well, that's, good. That's incredible. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. Oh, thanks, you guys. Yeah. I'm gonna so put that in my daughter's bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> now, what like the can like what is your influence? Because it looks to me like like uh, early 60s horror 
magazine oh. kind of creation, right? Like, yeah. is that what it, is that would be? Like you the, doing the interview? The pastels and stuff. I'm just curious. I appreciate yeah, it. Okay. Yeah, I mean, for well, for this, like, this is the sort of like, um, let me, you know, if I'm going to be entertaining and fun and shit, then mm. I got to do something simple, which yeah. I am super influenced by that old 60s, 70s. Sure horror illustration stuff, um, EC comics, mm -hmm. things like nice, that. Nice. I actually make those kinds of comics. Oh, nice. Skin and Crawl magazine. Do you have, oh, okay. <laughs> Do you have permission to, to, to be doing other people's uh, art? Is you, are you breaking vi uh, copyright violation right yeah, now? Yeah, is this from Disney's Haunted <laughs> Castle? <laughs> the Haunted World. Hey, Matt, well, let's check is, in. Uh, this was a big hit last the week. Hold the comic book up here. Mm. Sorry, Tim. So the second issue that. is coming this month. This is the first issue. It's insane. While I was doing, uh, while during the pandemic, I needed to, like, do something. So I was like, well, let me, I don't want my ideas to die. Yeah. So I was like, well, let me just do some sequential art and uh, do this. So it's cool. Beautiful. Actually, my Kickstarter ended yesterday. It was really successful and positive. So nice, man. Man. Thank Matt, you, everybody. This was a big hit last week, from what I could tell. Uh, our old, our friend Gus is here with his hand raised. Remember Gus? He had a bit oh, of a yeah. uh, yes. sad tale and about then let's bring deception. in Sarah, a.k.a. Novella. Yes. The uh, well, should we, Gus, do you want to say hi quick and maybe we could check in with you after the break? We could talk to Gus. Well, sure. Sarah, yeah. maybe Sarah hey. can come in and start getting set up. Yeah. We Gus. Chat with Gus. Hello, Gus. How, how, are th how, uh, how have uh, things... What's the update from last week? Uh, if you were listening oh, well, to the uh, I, full I show... I, I, no, my mood has uh, <clears throat> been incredibly lifted by everyone's uh, support on and the show. And the activity of the day, too, right? <clears throat> that, that helped. Yes, and thank you for that sure. tip, Vic. I haven't tried it yet, but uh, haven't needed to. Okay. Uh, good, good. I like to hear that. Yeah. And then I got my uh, package from uh, you all that was very kind, wearing my new office hours hat. Oh. And I've got, uh, I put this in on the uh, uh, chain. What the hell is that? Just yes. uh, oh, hello, hello, everybody. Ew, One nice. of the pins. Um, I had a question, but I could save it if you just wanted to quickly uh, move along. Well, um, I hate when, like, on these uh, public shows, public radio shows, <laughs> they go, we, we have 30 seconds left. Can you just summarize exactly the policy uh, that you are against and how the proposition is going to adversely affect uh, uh, smaller communities? No, but go ahead. Uh, yeah. Um, Particularly with uh, Jay uh, in the studio, I was Jay uh, sort curious. of in the studio. I mean, he's <laughs> what? Kinda... Yeah, I'm making a good impression. <laughs> no, well, I, um, I was curious, just as conversation fodder, um, to go into like uh, everyone's. This is open to everybody, but your uh, inner world during REM sleep. If there's any uh, mm. vivid imagery or things recently, or just any time in your life that like have seared. Uh, you want to? You want the show to come to the place where we're talking about our dreams? Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Those I, instincts are. I proposed a segment about two years ago of that. Really? Dream, dream okay. I thought it could yeah. be interesting, but. Or, Jay, I know you. Uh, Jay's studied uh, hallucinogenics, so I, if he's got any. Uh, studied hallucinogenics? Trip down. All right, well, we will table that for the time being. <laughs> yeah, sure. Table that. Great to see okay. you, Gus. Great to see you smile. And. Yeah, uh, thank you, Tim. We will. Um, and uh, by the way, uh, Noveller is here, and we don't want to bring up bad blood, bad memories. It was a disastrous way for people to come to know you on my show, and I feel completely horrified by not me. Not, I have, of You're course, done nothing, I've done nothing wrong. I be, maintain a perfect host, but the people around me have failed me. You understand that? I forgive you. Well, don't forgive me. Forgive <laughs> producer Matt and many others who have failed me badly. <laughs> uh, would you play us a, a song? Do you want to set this up in any way or just want to just fucking get into it? We could talk after. Whatever Let's get choose. into it. We're going to get into it, folks. Uh, yes. inc incredible performance happening right now. We'll take a quick break and be back with more of the show. If you're going to join us, in the second half, and you're not watching live, please go, uh, go over to patreon.com slash office hours live, and that way you can find the whole show whenever you want. <laughs> so much more on my blog and all sorts of other short things that we love to put out and do for you. Take it away.
Yes. Thank you so much. That was wow. incredible. We will be back in five. Stick around. <laughs> that was awesome. Wow.